All right, we got the plays of the week coming up first. Uh, let's get back out to the big game. Chris Egan joins us from Mount Side, where you had a good one tonight. Two good teams, Chris. I tell you what, Paul, you guys are working hard in there tonight. Get some pizza tonight. A lot of games on the Blitz tonight. I love it. Uh, the big game, pretty good one. Mount Side showing they are the real deal. They came into this game as the number two ranked team in the state, facing off against a three and one East Lake team. Don Bartell always has his Wolves ready to go. And tonight it is Mount Sai who wins this one 21 to seven. Kale Millen, two touchdown throws, ran one in. Uh, that was the key there. That second quarter, his two touchdown throws. Uh, Mount Sai getting a lot of attention so far this season because of their offense. But tonight it was their defense that shut down East Lake in the first half. We chatted with the head coach after the game. Uh, East Lake, that's a classic East Lake Mount Sai game. It really is. Um, we play uh, hard, physical, feisty games every time we play them. They're well coached and uh, uh, they're tough kids, and, and so and so are we. So it's it's like this all the time. So we expected this to come down to the wire. No score after the first quarter. How key was it just to stick with the game plan? And finally, you started getting some big plays in the yeah, second. Yeah, I mean, we just have to keep going. We just have to keep grinding, you know. And our kids showed that kind of that grit and that stick to itiveness. And and uh, you know, we can score quick when, when when we put it together. And so we were able to put two quick scores together. And and uh, I would have liked to have gotten a couple more, um, but it didn't happen. Uh, East Lake. Uh, I played really good defense and had a good scheme, and and so uh, we chalk it up to a victory and move on. You always know that our offense and defense are going to make a play. So, first quarter 0-0, zero, zero, we weren't we weren't down. We knew that we were going to make a play, and we knew that we were going to win this game. Take me through your touchdown. You know that play isn't designed to give me the ball usually, but I knew Kale saw that pocket deep, and I knew I had the corner beat. So right as he looked at me, I knew I was going to get the ball, and he threw it up, and I knew I had to make a play. Uh, so far, just right now, it's everybody feels like we're going to win going into each game. We have confidence, but every every day at practice is something is something special, you know. Especially last week, we had, we had a great week of practice. Um, this week, this week it was a little down, but yeah. we rallied. We rallied all game. I'm just so proud of that defense. Five and zero, oh, but as you just said, there's yeah. a lot of work to still yes. be done, right? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, we we're gonna we're gonna keep going each week. Uh, hopefully, we'll look back on this game and think, wow, that was us back then. But um, yeah, we're just gonna keep grinding each week. Hopefully, we'll be a lot better in the in the playoffs because we expect to be in the playoffs, and uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. Well, that's a sign of a pretty good team there, 5-0 and and hardly satisfied. Uh, the team not very happy with how they practice this week to face off against Eastlake. So Mount Si will get ready to try to go 6-0 and next week as they battle Issaquah. As for Eastlake, this is a playoff team, Paul. There are only two losses so far this season against the number one ranked team in the state union. And tonight they lose to the second ranked team in the state Mount Si. So don't count Eastlake out right now. They're three and two and more than likely will make a push for the playoffs. We're live tonight in Snoqualmie. Next week, who knows where we're headed, but another quality big game and another huge crowd tonight. Loving the Friday night lights so far this season because the crowds have been spectacular. Hey, let me ask you this, man. I saw you in the, in the pregame, like doing some box jumping and some dancing. And is that the reason we're not seeing you play pickleball or do any athletic activity here at the end of your night like you did last week? Paul started cramping up a little bit in the second <laughs> quarter tonight. Um, after that's called the Fortnite dance. I can't. That's all I can do right now. The kids know what I'm talking about. I tell you what, it was an awesome feeling. I'm out there with the dance squad from Mount Si. We're doing it. The the crowd was going wild. Uh, they were feeding me. Uh, but you know, unfortunately, I did it a little too long tonight. I wore a mascot outfit this morning, so I tell you what, I am uh, needing some electrolytes. I'm needing some Gatorade, maybe some bananas, because I don't know if I'm going to make it home to Puyallup tonight. Yeah. But uh, hey, we're giving everything we got out here in Stokeholmen tonight, Paul. That's a good point. I forgot you were up in the crack of dawn. All right, Chris, you're, uh, your day is done, man. Uh, thanks for your help out there, and we'll see you when you get back. Sounds good. All right, Chris Egan out there. Let's fire up the uh, flux capacitor now and uh, go back in time to about 730 this morning. Jordan Wilkerson at the morning rally at Sumner.